Welcome back to World Box. Today we're doing something spicy, even spicier than this volcano. A couple weeks ago, I installed this mod called Diversity Crate. It adds three new races, which we actually already did a video about, but what it also does is allows you to have multi-race kingdoms. So you could have a kingdom that's elves and dwarves, a kingdom that's all four of the default races and any combination therein. So what we're gonna do today is put the orcs, the strongest race, with the elves, the weakest race, and put them up against the humans and the dwarves, which are both like kinda good. So hopefully it'll balance out. But I'm also very curious. We're gonna do the largest map size here and do, ooh, that's nice. Also, I apologize if my voice sounds a little raspier than usual. I've actually been sick all week. I'm not quite over it, you know? I feel a little gross. All right, so let's give elves and orcs up here. There is one thing I should tell you though about this mod. It's not a literal combination of like half elves, half orcs. It's those two races blended into one race. You'll notice none of them are green, but you'll notice some of them have more orc characteristics and some don't. But they also get both races traits. So they get weightless from the elves, but they also get regeneration and savage from the orcs. If you were expecting it to be like a mixture of elves and orcs like I was initially, you'll be surprised to see that it looks just like normal almost. I would actually kind of like to see them do it where it literally is just those exact races kind of working together, but it doesn't really make sense because once they were to like reproduce, it would make sense that they end up being like this anyway. So it just makes sense to start that way. I just remembered I have a mod installed right now that I need to turn off for this video. Okay, let's try this again the right way. That mod I had installed makes it so like random traits are added to everyone every like two minutes or something. And then I also had crazy box, which means I had a bunch of crazy traits. So people were just randomly getting traits and then blowing up. Humans and dwarves, let's make them kind of like this. That's cool. And then orcs and elves, let's give them, yeah. Okay, let's call it Elevork or Orf? Orf. Orf? Yeah. Let's call him Orf. Okay. Humans and dwarves. Dwarmans. Yeah. All right. Orf versus Dwarmans. Okay. So, gave him 21 each. And I'm very curious to see how this goes because this is not like anything we've gotten to really see before. It's interesting to see like basically what we always know orcs to look like with like the kind of tunic looking clothes, but it's like just like a regular dude. I don't know. I think it's kind of funny. It looks like it's a blend of their stats too, maybe? Can't tell. This is kind of low health for orcs, right? But the damage seems... Hold on. Let's compare. Okay. 16. Uno. 125 and 16. That kind of balances them. This team will have a little bit more health, not much, but a little bit more, but less damage. It's the traits that are gonna really change things because these guys have a lot of traits to work with. Nothing super game changing except for maybe regeneration. And then the humans and dwarves, they just get minor. I didn't really look at the biomes. I guess this is, this is pretty fair. Jungle and grass are the main ones and there's lemon on each side. A little savanna up here and there's like a little random patch of crystal up here, but I don't think, I don't think anyone's gonna make it out there, but. Sorry, doc, you're not gonna get a lot of screen time today. Okay, we're sitting at 23, 24. They're working their way up. I'm actually curious to see what their buildings look like. Do they mix buildings? I didn't even think about that yet. That would be cool. The actual visuals kind of being a weird blend where they look both like humans and dwarves is cool. This is a human house, right? This is a dwarf house, human house. Okay, that could be actually really cool. Okay, orc and then elf. That's cool. Okay, that makes it all worth it. I was a little bummed when I initially saw that the races weren't their own individual selves just working together and they were actually like blended. But with the buildings being intermixed, that's actually really cool. I am down for that. 53, 54, they're keeping very even. This actually might be a very good matchup. And if it ends up being a good matchup, if we can finally have like an even competition without using the same race, this might be something we do for like future like experiments. Whenever we want things to be like mostly fair, we'll just do like all humans or all elves or something, which always feels a little bit lame because they're all the same. But if we ever wanted to do like an experiment with traits or whatever, it would still be fair, but it'd be more interesting 
if we can do like this mixed thing. So this is kind of almost a test to see if we can use this idea for future videos. Orfs are kind of working their way down this peninsula here where the Dwarmans are actually working towards the middle, which would be good for them because they got this whole area, which I think would be good for them to take. I think this is something someone should try to get. This won't benefit the Orfs very much because they already have regeneration, but if the Dwarmans can get it, then uh, that might be good for them. Why wouldn't you want to live here, you know? Imagine this guy delivering your mail. Look at that, 120, 120. The Dwarmans are actually taking the lead here, 250. Orf sitting at 222. This map's kind of nice, huh? For the first try on randomly generating one. It's nice and even. There was obvious starting spots. The biomes are evenly placed. The main biomes on the map are like pretty default, like neutral ones. This is kind of like exactly what I would want. We got lucky on that. Thanks, World Box. Very cool. I do really like the mixture of buildings. You know, you've got the orc and elf houses mixed together. You got the orc windmill. You got the orc whatever this is. Town hall. You got the, the elf one. An elf windmill. It almost looks like they kind of do group together. Where like this is all elf right here. Except for this one house. Like this is primarily elf. But then up here, this feels like mostly orc. We got one, two, three, four, five orc houses. With the orc town hall. With the orc windmill. Like it seems like they're kind of clumping together. Okay. The dwarmans are actually pulling ahead. Four. 400. They're only down by like 20, but they are down. The elves do populate really fast, so I'm surprised see, that's not helping them more, but the orcs aren't known to populate that fast, so it's kind of leveling out, but it's sort of the same thing with the doormans, where neither the humans or dwarves populate that fast. They're both pretty, like, average speeds. So, but yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh, they're up by 90 now. Now they're up by 100. The orfs over here are not really expanding very much. They're just out here eating sushi. They don't even really know about each other yet. They got a whole mountain range blocking them from the truth that someday they will have to fight you know i don't think anyone will make it out here but i kind of hope someone does you know also with biome overgrowth on like they're just infinitely fighting to take over the island here like the little corner of swamp is like please leave me alone and there's like a little <laughs> little patch of savannah just vibing look at them Look at them groove, dude. Don't get me wrong, I love that the dev added, like, a little animation to the trees. But I also find it a little funny how simple it is. The tree just kind of, like, slightly twirls in a circle. Just a little bit. They're stuck at 500. What's going on over here, guys? Uh-oh. It's like they ran out of land. They didn't know. They've got all this to take. They've got all this to take. They actually are making their way towards Lemon Biome. They might get there before the humans. They might get there before the humans and dwarves do. But humans and dwarves population is crazy. They're up by 200 now. I don't even know what changed, but they decided to just pop off. Let's see how their cultures are. With the mixed races, what are their cultures like? They got kind of pretty standard. You'd think they'd be a little further along by now. Let's see, 24 and only 18. Yeah, the dwarves and humans are proving to be a pretty good team. Yeah, they've got a lot more stuff than the orfs. All right, shoot, dude. All right, let's go sonic speed just for, just for a moment while we... Uh, Wait for them to get closer and maybe declare war. Looks like Orf is starting to grow their population again. They actually finally got out of the 500s. The Dwarmans are starting to hit sort of a natural edge on their land, so they're going to have to expand a out a little more awkwardly. Oh, look at this. The Orfs just went around the mountain, set up camp right out front. Someone ought to take... Oh, they took Lemon up here. I didn't even realize they could cross right here. Look at that. I thought they'd have to go around. All right, so uh, dwarf humans have this Lemon biome, which will help them. 1,100 population to 800. 1,200 population to 800. It's weird because usually in this situation, when the orcs are underpopulated, we still know, oh, they're probably still going to win because they're so strong. But this time, they're really not that strong. They're kind of gaining... 11, still 13. Oh, okay. I think that either team could win right now. I actually don't know. They're a little underpopulated, but they're kind of catching up, and I still think they're going to be better. Fi oh, here we go. Okay. War has been declared. <laughs> it's just instantly going to be chaos. Let's let's check this out. Here we go. Oh my, okay. This, this village is screwed for sure. This village is going to be screwed for sure. These people are flanking around. Wow, okay. The bigger population of the Dwarmans might help, but I think the Orfs are just going to be more aggressive. They definitely are fighting more like orcs. Look at them go. That's orc behavior right there. Okay, it looks like they've kind of pushed him back, or maybe the maybe the Dwarmans are heading back now to defend. 
Yeah, it looks like they're going to the front lines. Holy smokes. This is crazy. Wow. Yeah, the orfs are just walking through them. Look at them go. Wow. Okay, what's population at now? Oh man, it's happening. Orfs just took the lead on population. Just by it like a few, but they're doing it. Orf is about to take the lead on population, I think. Maybe not. They're holding their ground. Wow, dude. I like this. This is cool. I f it feels like a genuinely even fight. I think I'd rather the dwarf humans win because, you know, the orcs are just kind of OP. And if they do win, it just means they carried the elves, which kind of feels bad for the elves too. So I feel like I'd like to see the dwarfs and humans like work together and defeat the orcs. That'd be kind of cool. It looks pretty even, but after all that fighting, the only stuff that got destroyed was mostly dwarf humans. There were these two little villages here for the orfs, but compared to how much of the dwarf humans got destroyed, uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty big difference. Although it looks like they're bringing the fight to them. Well, they were. Oh, they still are. Okay, yeah, yeah, they're pissed off now. Look at that. Not the windmill. Please, not the windmill. I like the windmill. Defend the windmill at all costs. No. That's it. Now you guys gotta die. Hopefully they can hold off them taking over the lemon biome from them. Because I think that'd be good if they can hold that. Because it's a good biome for them. And I feel like they gotta kind of push them back through the mountain range. They gotta swoop through here. They gotta... This is already kind of cut off, so that's fine. This is sort of cut off. It does connect, but it's sort of its own thing. They gotta box them in. If they can box them in here, like to right here, I think they'll be okay. But the, the orfs are just... They're still being pretty aggressive. They have so many armies and their armies are fast and strong and look at the difference here well i guess we'll find out but i think the orfs will win this one yeah look at that and like i would have said i don't know it looked like the dwarf human army was technically a little bit bigger but oh my gosh they just keep coming yeah this is a this is a kingdom ending army right here what's it gonna be oh they're going in dude they're pissed uh-oh have mercy yeah the Dwarf humans are not really sending in any big squads. They're sending in like little groups or medium sized groups, maybe. But like, dude, this is like, what is this? Five different, six different armies? Although now they're just standing around. So I don't know what they're doing. That wouldn't be my strategy, that's for sure. 1800 to 1700, they're staying pretty even. It's definitely not over for anyone yet. Oh, 18 to 18. We might need to go sonic speed a little bit because i feel like this is kind of taking a long time see if anyone makes any big moves looks like the dwarf humans took over this whole center area no one's really oh there's a big oh look at that oh whoa 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 slow it down down here the orfs they're doing it oh wow look at that dang and the dwarf humans are not even like attacking them right now they're just defending that's all they can do they it's not even the orf's full strength they got other armies this is just one of their many armies dang they still have decent population though they're defending they're definitely still trying 23 to 17 though it ain't looking good no, they're destroying the lemon biome. You leave their lemons alone. Trying to set up camp right now. Yeah, good luck with that, dude. Dang, dang. Okay, so it's pretty much confirmed. The orcs, when mixed with the elves, they still retain their aggression. They're just like really aggressive elves. Not as beefy. They didn't have as much health or damage, I think. But they definitely populated pretty quickly still and were pretty aggressive. And don't get me wrong, the dwarf humans did stand a pretty good chance. They were in the lead for most of the match. And I don't want to say it's over for them, uh, but I think it might be over for them. Let's go ahead and just speed this up a little bit. Because at, this is sort of like the point that you can't really come back from without a miracle. But I like that. I did feel like that was pretty easy for most of the match. The orcs with the elves aren't super OP, they're just strong. And the dwarves with the humans were like pretty good. I bet if we did this again a couple more times, I bet we'd eventually have a match where the dwarf humans win. It seemed like it could go either way. The orc elves were definitely a little better at fighting and a little more aggressive. The regeneration trait does help quite a bit. Whew. Something that would be worth doing while we watch this kingdom get utterly obliterated would be another one of those islands videos, but we do like an island with each combination. We could even do like all these combinations too. Where we do, you know, an island with human elves and kind of like figure out which combination is the best. Um, and then maybe even put them in different biomes to see how they behave. I feel like a dangerous combo would be orcs and dwarves because you've got the aggression of the orcs and the like good armor and weapons of the dwarves. That would be a dangerous combo. 
Look at this, dude. This is so brutal to watch. Is that it? Oh, man. Get out of there, boat man. Dude, he was still fishing till his last moment. Not the tower. Okay, what's left? Why is this still here? Oh, there's boats. Why are you on fire? Why was that guy on fire? Imagine burning to death like two feet from the ocean. All right, I think that's officially it. GG's. That was cool. I like that. Oh, there's more boats. Just for the actual... Actually, we'll let them live. We'll imagine that they eventually settle on Crystal Land and the dwarves befriend the locals and they live happily ever after. But we're not going to stick around for that. All right, good work. Orcs and elves make a decent combo because elves are garbage and the orcs are super strong. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what ideas you have with all this. I'll give you another look at it right here so you can see what our combinations are. Be cool if they updated this mod to where the goblins, hive, and lizards can be combined too. But, but maybe that's asking for too much. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys next time.